Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. Today, due to much request, we're going to be going over what I have inside this guy. Master Force 54 inch by what was it, 21 inch um, toolbox 22. Yeah, something like that. I'll get the tape measure out later. Anyways, um, so tour on this guy finally, since everybody else been curious about it, what all I got in here, what I keep in here, and all this other stuff. And, uh, it's been a hell of a toolbox. So, anyways, let's uh, get things going and see what I have inside. Alright, so first off, uh, don't mind the mess. It's how the top rolls. It is what it is. And yes, that was whiskey. So, I've got a spare monitor out here. A couple walkie-talkies, some lead. There you go, Chico Wise. Turkey call. My vintage stoves. John Deere sign and... Uh, my uh, tool belt from way back when, a fillet knife, a couple other odds and ends on the top. And this is the 54 inch Master Force with custom tread plate, one of a kind, cut to fit top, straight from Alcoa. So it pays to know people. So anyways, top drawer. Um, I got my plier rack here, going to be figuring some stuff out with that. Uh, my sticker from Tarek, I still got to put that on here yet. Uh, letter, uh, old, uh, Triumph manual. So, that was, that's, uh, very, very old. Only from, like, 76. Uh, first off, we're going to go ahead, go down the socket lines here. I've got, uh, this is my blue point, because the Craftsman USA one I had is way better. Uh, another blue point spark plug socket. Uh, these, I believe, are my old Craftsman. Nope, those are the blue points. Oh, that's right. I switched stuff around. I got the Craftsman in my tool bag. Anyways, I got my blue point set here at home for the most part. Some more blue points, some snap on, uh, vintage snap on, old stuff. And uh, that's just on the 3 8 drive because I'm not bit much of a fan of 12 point. And then I've got some. Um, Old, what is that, a Proto, Armstrong, uh, Craftsman, half inch, nope, Master Force, USA, half inch, 12 point, that's been split. Uh, Matco, 3 8 drive impact sockets, and some other stuff. Uh, what is this? Uh, Craftsman USA, 386 point, same thing, Craftsman USA, Craftsman USA, then, um, uh, metric, uh, 38 drive, Craftsman USA, an old, um, I think Taiwan, yeah, made in Taiwan, uh, half to three quarter adapter, Pittsburgh Crow Taiwan, Crow Molly, Three quarter inch drive impact sockets, a compressor head socket, got that from Clay Coon Trucking. And then the Pittsburgh Pro one inch to three quarter adapter, because I refuse to use that in the shop. Down here, I've got my mix and match of her brand wrenches, uh, courtesy of Dano's Toolbox, old snap on, 1130 seconds. Um, and then also on the vintage snap on side, you got that one right there. And that one right, no, that's Mac. Where's my new old stock? Anyways, there's, oh, right here's my two new old stocks that I got from, um, oh, shoot. Post a link to, Walter Frederick. Yeah, because I got a video where I unbox that. Uh, my brother's Snap-on quarter-inch drive. This is the old 36, if I'm correct. Uh, TM70 Charlie. Sorry, don't have the tripod with me today. So TM70 Charlie, quarter inch drive. Um, snap on my brother's uh, quarter inch drive. I've got some uh, of the Chicago pneumatic sockets, the impact ones. Then Craftsman USA, Craftsman USA, Blue Point, Torx bits. Um, they work okay. Uh, also, I've got my long-handled uh, quarter-inch drive ratchet right there. Snap-on half-inch drive, regular ratchet. 
the Capri, yes, it's got a slight bend to it uh, for reasons, uh, half inch drive. Uh, this thing's a beast for $25. I don't think you're going to find a better one. My old, uh, I think they used to sell these at Sears, Taiwanese made, quarter inch drive kit, pretty good kit. Another snap-on 18 inch soft grip handle, half inch drive, snap-on, Performax wobble, Performax wobble, snap-on, or Craftsman, snap-on. Uh, quarter inch drive So anyways, my neighbor showed up there for a second um, So I've got one of the old square drives. That was also my brother's So uh, yeah, hard knocks forge knows about these guys uh, Don't think he had the rest of the kit for this guy but anyways so three quarter inch drive uh, Harbor Freight metrics uh, some Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Chinese chrome vanadium sockets, uh, half inch drive, uh, Craftsman USA metric sockets minus the 16 right there, another Harbor Freight, and some more. And then uh, I've got my 3H drive metric uh, Matco impacts, and then Craftsman USA sockets, and some Blue Point over there. <clears throat> Quarter inch drive metric. Uh, Craftsman USA yet again, some Jones Way, and some Great Neck, and some more Jones Way, uh, Hex Bits, uh, they were like $10 a set from uh, oh, uh, Fastenal when I bought those, so no big deal there, sorry for the moving around, uh, if you need something that you have to modify, you know, buy cheap. Um, Flashlight from Ebomi, old angle flashlight, uh, knife from Native Tears, uh, knife from my late uncle, uh, Bowie style, made in Italy, CVA, um, keep that in here, and an AOK -okay Forging and Adventure Spoon, custom made, oh, uh, this is one of the ones that they gave me, so. I keep that in here because it's a. It technically is a tool. It is serviceable. It is usable. Oh, and uh, pens, pencils, little ruler, that sort of stuff in the bag. Nothing special. Oh, uh, my uh, brother's uh, strippers that I bought for him Christmas one year, and uh, Blue Point end nippers. Okay, so over here I've got the uh, Blue Point uh, 8 to 19 millimeter uh, reversible ratcheting wrenches. Those have been living here pretty much. And also I've got my um, Snap On Green uh, mini tool kit here. The, since I have uh, the pink ones at work, match the toolbox. Uh, one of the bracelets I've made. And. I got that, can't remember if I bought it or if I uh, won it off the raffle during the CB Ball several many years ago. So I still got that, uh, still with the original thing on it. So I got a Craftsman, I've got more Craftsman Proto, and these are both Western Forge USA. Uh, where is that one? Oh, this is a Japanese Power Master Diamond USA 6.16 millimeter. Craftsman USA, inch and an eighth Craftsman USA, then the inch and a sixteenth uh, China, um, have in there, channel lock, and the channel lock ones, if you look, if it'll focus, are made by Baco, metric and standard, um, same as uh, snap, same plant that makes snap-ons, uh, which still really good. This is just kind of a better deal. Uh, Crescent Tool uh, USA, Crescent USA. All right. Yes. Um, <laughs> I have a friend that has a farm, and I have a bander, so we'll just leave that at that. Um, Quarter-inch torque wrench. I think I might have used it once, 
it was like 15 bucks and uh yeah harbor freight uh some old uh super buffalo or super qualities rigid rigid pipe wrenches a uh, little uh tool shop handy carver kit that was uh my brother's as well uh, got this from 802 diesel crew on one of his uh giveaway thousand subscriber or 800 subscriber giveaway a few years back won that off him so that stays there next drawer all right so the full set of the vice grips i got that off cornwall dealer in st louis it was like 65 dollars for the whole set who could argue with that uh, my capri bit sets um, this one you guys have seen uh, best bit sets i think you could ever buy by far uh, especially being the fact that, yeah, that thing's seen nothing but impact. And, uh, I got that kit. That's the one that got me started off on Capri a long time ago. It was like $15 on Amazon at the time. Uh, I got the metrics and then a year or so later I bought the standards. Uh, for what you're spending and what you're getting, it is hands down, you know, bang for buck. Okay, so got some wire brushes, assorted blue point of uh, snap ring pliers, the auto switch style. Uh, they kind of work okay sometimes. More brush. Uh, this is a um, stripper for a heavy duty cable to uh, ring the end off. Blue point mini plier sets. Uh, I think these are Japanese made end nippers, flush cutters. Uh, and then I think these are like Tool Shop or whatever, Menards $2 Black Friday special. Um, those extensions that were in that are currently in, oh boy, I think in my tool bag. All right, next up, some other kits you guys have already seen. The Gear Wrench Kit, the Stanley Kit uh, on my Tool Kits video, Fasten All drill bits bang for buck on those this is a full index i love these these are made by norseman these are the fmt or not the fmt bits but these are the norseman bits fmt makes these for fasten all and fmt probably makes the best cobalted drill bit you could ever get okay so my old bosch screwdriver i got that in like 2009 you bought this, came with the charger, batteries, and you got the mini screwdriver for free. Uh, panel work, dash work, stuff like that around the house. Uh, these, these do work, and they're still working a long time later because you got a variable control clutch, angle head. It's handy on the stuff that you don't need to really apply any torque to. And... Uh, same thing, cordless screwdriver. This one has a touch more torque. They're both brushed than uh, this guy, but for hobby stuff, works good. Okay, there's the bag that they come in, and I got the charger over on the wall. Uh, this is the tool kit for my uh, motorcycle. I even got a, what is this, a Gador India wrench in there. So this is for the what came with the... Um, Gold wing, old gold wing. Uh, framing hammer, and a little bitty ball peen hammer, some shackles, and some buff pads. There again, nothing special. Okay, sorry about the motion. All right, so my odds and ends drawer um yeah i've got oh that was for those uh e-shine lights that i won off amazon uh coolant tester uh notebooks uh air schematic that i made a long time ago uh radio uh cb mic old C cb radio that um well, i got two of them gonna try to make a working one at some point in time Spare charger, bags, uh, that was a notepad from Steel Plant I worked at, my snap-on coolant tester, and 
yeah, just more junk, really. Okay, side drawer. Uh, the odds and ends. Admin drawer. Lockout, tag out stuff. Uh, pulleys, tape, locks, lighter, all that jazz. Electrical tape. Uh, jumbo ferro rod from uh, Nathan4071. Uh, okay, kind of my metal working drawer. See if I can adjust this. Get the light. There we go. So I got cobalt inspection mirror, hole saw, uh, spare gasket, and uh, lens for my uh, weld hood. Mini files from uh, Menards again, or task force, uh, maybe uh, Lowe's or something like that. Old file, old uh, level, uh, Stanley Speed Square, uh, razor knife. Stanley USA chisel, old Stanley razor knife, Stanley razor knife, nothing special there. Screwdriver drawer, yeah, I've got some screwdrivers and that doesn't even include what I got at work and in, uh, in the truck bits. So just odds and ends, oh and uh, one of my snap-on picks over there. Um, electrical drawer, or power drawer. I've got the half inch, three quarter inches still at work just because I've been planning on doing a video and we've already discussed that. Um, my three eighths, my old quarter inch, uh, my old Matco uh, test light that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't want to work. It's got an internal issue or a wire issue or something and it's been that way since like, you know, week one. Wire wheel, cut off tool and... Uh, Another tape measure. I got a few tape measures. And, oh! Dial indicator. This is my precision measuring drawer. Veneer caliper sets that go clear up to four inches. Uh, this is one of my dial indicators. And that's the uh, Matco one. It's handy because it has the vice grip one. And then I've got the regular uh, magnetic foul, the Fowler magnetic mount one at work for doing run out. Uh, if I need this, I can always grab it. DOT books and stuff like that. Some spare parts. And that's kind of it. 54 inch Master Force. I've had this going on almost a decade. I worked out of it for several years, and uh, yeah, it's a good toolbox. Yeah, and on the top, we got sharpener, pads, forgot to mention that, some screws and stuff. Oh, so there you have it, my toolbox, and things are kind of messy in the rest of it. But um, everybody's been wondering about this thing, this is their first gen one. And um, it's a good toolbox. This one is the one with the uh, soft clothes. The newer ones actually have a lift up on the front, which is a simple design. It's an easy design. Uh, this toolbox, if you had to move it going down to shop, you'd always have to lock it. That was kind of the one thing that, you know, locking drawers are better for that. But for home, these things work awesome. And it was like 700 bucks at the time. I just paid cash for it. 54 inches. Uh, back when I bought it, snap. Other than going with a tool truck brand for upwards of ten times the cost. Okay, maybe it would have been like you know seven times the cost, but still, um, the price that I got this one for, especially being a full deep, which it is. Uh, 21 inches deep so just shy you know snap-ons run what 22 uh, dry weight on the toolbox is the better part of 400 pounds um, locks on it work great and uh, so for anybody starting off that just wanted to go pay cash for a toolbox that wanted or needed the really big long drawer on the top that's got double slides, and the bottom drawers also have double slides. Um, I've had this thing loaded down 
substantially between the tools I have in here and most of what I have over at the shop. There's a lot of those tools I've had a long time, other than the stuff I've gotten for testing or upgrades, things of that nature. But anything gets upgraded or I'm swapping stuff out or doing testing with different stuff, comes here. Anything uh, personal that uh, sentimental goes here. So, and anything that's a lot more valuable and sentimental, well, that goes in a different type of steel cabinet inside. So, but anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions about it, by all means, leave them down below. Remember, shop safety just as important as firearm safety. You screw something up, somebody could die. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. So y'all take care. Thank you.